I'm Philip Graham. I'm Head of Internal Communications at the University of Edinburgh. Okay, I understand you joined the university about two months before the Brexit referendum. What impact did that have on internal communications? Yes, I joined in April 2016 and it was quite a shock to everybody and certainly has taken up a lot of, uh, a lot of people's time across the University of Edinburgh and across the whole of U the UK. We started off obviously having to reassure existing staff and students that we are always international, we've always been international and we always will be international, that we want the best of staff and students from around the world to join us in the University of Edinburgh and then that messaging quickly moved to to letting people know that we are, we are international, we always will be, and then also providing advice and support to our staff and students. It moved into giving legal advice and consultations uh, around visa, immigration to EU students, EU staff. Um, and I think that messaging around the we are international hashtag has been really important to us. Um, we set up a, a Brexit website, the University and Europe it is called, which was for existing staff and students, but also prospective staff and students. The reassurance, the international messages were there instantly and we quickly um, spoke to our staff and students about what do they want, what are their concerns, and addressed those through a series of digital, social, and face-to-face -face meetings where we really heard from our staff and students and their concerns on how we could support that. And on top of that, obviously the university, plus other UK universities, has been very strong at working with other international partners with lobbying governments, working with University Scotland, Universities UK, to get the best deal for our staff and students. Thank you very much for that. Now, I understand you've also uh, been involved in the first uh, UPRO mobility program. Uh, can you explain what that involves? Yes, this was the, the first UPRO mobility program. It was set up just last year in 2017. Uh, myself from the University of Edinburgh and Xander from Utrecht University and Caroline from uh, NHL Stenden in Leeuwarden got together to share best practice and experience around how we communicate with international students. So how do we do it currently? How could we learn from each other and improve uh, communications to international students? The program, um, our title was Tell Me um, What's Going On. It was really to find out what do our students want to hear about? How do we improve that? How do we build a sense of community? How do we show that we are welcoming even before students arrive at the university to showcase different cultures, different attitudes, how we can embed students into the wider um, student community um, and how can we support them throughout their whole student career. So language obviously is really important but also being welcoming and building that community. So it was a really inspiring um, program. It was intense. We had lots of meetings with managers, with communication staff and others around our three different universities but it was good to see how different universities approach the same subject and how we can all learn from each other. Did you actually talk to the international students? Yes, we did. That was a really important aspect of what we did and actually to hear the student voice directly instead of us second guessing what students need or what they want. Um, it was really important to talk to them to let us hear firsthand what are their issues, how can we improve things and, and how things can develop as time goes on. And what are the main things that universities uh, are doing wrong with their international uh, student uh, welcome, if you like, approach? I think one aspect was maybe the, the, the pre-induction of actually letting students know uh, what different cultures are like, what different communities are like, what is available to them before they even come, but the students were acknowledging that steps, really good steps forward have been made already, uh, it's moving in the right direction. I think in Edinburgh obviously we have a common English language for all international students which gives us a head start, so um, Utrecht and NHL Stend and are certainly the students were saying are moving in the right direction in terms of using English as a common language across all international communications. Um, so I think it's, it, it's helping them to make communities to work together um, and to, I suppose to fully integrate and to, to find out about all the possibilities and opportunities that are available at the university. And how are the uh, three universities, are, are they using any of the information they've gained to change anything? Yes, absolutely. I think, I think it's fundamental that we, we share these best practices, practices and then learn from that and actually implement them directly. So already um, Utrecht and uh, NHL Standard are moving towards more of a use of, of English, um, but also even in terms of international connections as well. It's, um, I suppose it's um, 
working together, again, as I said, for, for best practice, and how do we, I suppose, stand back, reassess what we're doing, um, and for me, one of the biggest things was student voice, listening to our students, and that's something that I think is a, a strand that continues through all our communications, that we're listening to our students, and we're feeding back to them based on that, and showing that we've listened to you, we've improved something as a result of what you've told us. Okay, well, thank you very much for talking to us.